Hello guys and welcome back to day number two with the Witch Hunters. It's a quick little recap from last time. No one's injured, no one's hurt, and we don't have any skill points to spend. So let's crack on with the next day, the next mission. New shipment request Ooh. arrived. And let's see what we can gather towards the shipment. So check out the campaign, see what's cooking. Nothing particularly interesting so far. Let's see if we can find something a little bit harder for us. Ooh, hard. Brutal, right? I did promise we will do the hardest one we can. So we've got a 50-50 chance we'll get tightly deployed around our wagon. Let's cross our fingers and I'll see you in the deployment. Okay guys, welcome back. We're here with turn number one. We're deploying quite close to the enemy as they are scattered around the map. You'll see we've got the lucky end of the stick here and we have all spawned within a fairly tight area around our wagon. As well as that, we also have some lovely lovely scenery to deploy on so we can have our ranged characters up top we can have our melees down the bottom hopefully it'll be like shooting fish in a barrel so let's crack on and see what we can do i think what we'll do is we'll play this fairly cautiously to begin with you'll notice there is a fair amount of weird stone around us though what i'll probably do is use this man to uh, gather what's in the building first of all and try to Get a little bit further towards my uh, my weirdstone mission. I think I need 75. Ooh, this weirdstone. Oh, is rather disappointing. Objectives updated. Fragments are worth gathering for the objectives. So that's fine. Let's just wait here. Right, onward. Another man with a spear and a plan. Another two chunks here. Not very high Objectives level. Objectives updated. Hmm. Objectives updated. Okay. What I think we'll do is we will try and get through this turn nice and quick, so we can get on and see what the enemy do to respond. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we have contact. And a bit of a rough start as our man gets stunned. Oh, that's going to hurt. Thankfully, he only got to attack once, because he charged with a two-handed weapon, but man, 75. That's a good bit of damage to stun him off. Let's see how many people we can get over there to uh, help our brother out. Just getting my bearings on the map. It's always worth if you're not sure where you are. Bring up the little map with the control button and, well, see if you can... Oh, dear lordy. We'll go ambush just in case anyone else comes to help out. But right now I'm expecting that henchman to die. And there is nothing I can do about it, which really sucks. Especially as he hasn't had a chance to even attack yet. Still, plenty of other henchmen out there. Right. I think we'll go for the aim shot. Nice. 36 is reasonable. You can't complain at that. So, let's see where the zombie goes. Good, he's not coming yet. Maybe here next turn. I would expect this dreg will be here soon. The heroes generally make it quicker because they have more movement. It's worth remembering that. Oh, hello, Gordon. Oh, lordy, lordy. Okay, neither of us can hit anything. That's fine. That's fine. And we're both naked. Maybe there is a correlation, being naked and hitting things. Oh, right, let's move on. Heavy armour, please. I love heavy armour for the mitigation. A new but, round you know, has started. If you get caused out of position, it's rough. It is rough. At least we can go on a dodge stance. But he's going to get two attacks this turn, which means he needs to miss and then I need to dodge in order to have any hope of surviving this. In other words, my man is dead. Remember to charge, yes, we have three offensive points, and an incredibly poor hit chance apparently. There's the dodge, and here is the death. We all saw it coming, it's okay. Objectives updated. That's okay, that man's immune to all alone tests, so that's something. 
Right, and I think we will focus the leader. He's actually lower health, so he's going to be the quicker target to die. Neither of them. That's something you should sometimes factor in when choosing who to attack. We'll go for a 25% dodge. It's not great, but it will have to do. Hmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Well, we can reload. We can do an aimed shot, and that's about it. 64, that's fine. Not fine enough, though. Okay, and dodge. Having a ranged hero early on, just for anyone that's new to this game, it does gimp you a little bit. I'm getting one attack per turn, which does less damage than if I had a two-handed weapon, where I could even attack twice a turn. So it does gimp your potential damage output quite a lot. Just be wary of that. Now, this man, however, he is no gimp. He's a man with an axe <laughs> and a plan. Right. One more swing, 86%. I'm feeling <laughs> Good job. Now, I think we'll loot him for that one. Objectives do. updated. I'll save a little bit of space. Just unless I get more stones. And that's their leader dead. And you can already see their uh, warband morale. A new really round great. has started. They've lost half just from that one unit. <laughs> Have a poke. Imagine if that went in your eye. That is huge. That is what she said. Now. So far, this man hasn't hit anything yet. Unlike the naked ghoul. Who has? And both of us are waving skulls around. I've got three in some form of brick. Right. 71, I like those odds. Not too shabby. The benefit of this rifle is really the range it brings. Which is kind of wasted at this point, but... That's absolutely fine. It also has a crit multiplying bonus. But I don't know. <laughs> oh, good lordy lordy. Objectives updated. That's two henchmen dead. I'm not doing very well for keeping henchmen alive. But brutal missions will be brutal. <laughs> At least this man is reliable. He's clearly got more weapon skill, which really helps the 80% base chance. Plus 16 from weapon skill. Incredibly useful. Right. Let's finish them off. And gather up the juicy stones. Objectives updated. It would be nice to get this secondary objective. I'm not really expecting to actually achieve that. Just as I need another five still, which which is Objectives quite a big ask. Updated. Especially as the amount of people carry it is getting smaller and smaller. Right, he has no damage mitigating. Oh well, there you go. Well, so much for that secondary objective. What I'll do now is I'll fast forward to the injury table. And we'll see what happens to our poor two henchmen. Okay, guys, here we are with a mission report. We have the underdog bonus, of course. We were on a brutal mission, and we did survive. This man, you can tell already, he is going to level up quick. Meinhof Holmes. If anyone gets the little Easter egg in the name, uh, have a cookie on me. So, let's move on. Internal wound. Ooh... One offensive point. He still gets one attack, it just means he can't charge. So a little bit of an issue. Potentially worth sacking him, but I think I'll just use him as a frontline meat shield suicide squad-esque dude. Full recovery, fine by me. So what we won't do is spend all of the points on camera, because that may be a little bit slow. But one cluster, four shards, four fragments. That puts us quite a little bit closer. We're nearly there for our first shipment and we even have enough to buy a couple of skills once we're high enough but that's a job for next time. What I'll do is I'll give you an update at the beginning of the next episode on what's happening with the warband. Thank you very much for watching. You've been watching Hydra.
and I will see you in the next video. Remember to like and subscribe and if you have any suggestions on videos or guides you'd like to see made, please feel free to leave it in the comments. Take care, have a lovely day.